be the underdog? It's good. It's good. It's a, it's a role we've uh, kind of embellished upon. Uh, you know, I think any time we're picked too high preseason, it makes me nervous. You know, I like uh, to be picked last and then prove people wrong. I think our players like that, too. I think our players enjoy uh, trying to prove uh, that, that uh, we're a good football team. So what's it like when you're the underdog and you pull off what others didn't think was possible in that big upset? What's that feeling like? Well, I think it's a great feeling. I think uh, you know when you're when you're uh, beating people that, that, that most people don't think you're capable of beating. I think there's an extra sense of satisfaction. And you know, Wake Forest. Uh, you know, there, there are a lot of Saturdays we go out. A lot of people don't think we can get the job done. So when you when you beat somebody nobody thinks you should be, uh, it's a great feeling. What are the ingredients to an upset? Uh, good play. Uh, there's no question. I think in, in the uh, 11 years that I've been at Wake Forest, uh, we've had somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 games go to the last couple of possessions. And in all the games that we've won, we've had to make a play. There's no magic bullet. you just got to play hard and get the good teams into the fourth quarter. And then when you've got a chance to make plays, you got to do it.